Hey, it's Jason Gordon for ThatShelf.com, and we're here to look at the second act, the opening film of the 2024 Cannes International Film Festival. Big change. Well, I'm here at the Debussy about to screen a seven-year-old Japanese film. But before we talk about that one, let's talk about the second act, Quentin Dupieux's latest film. Got to get the cast right because the cast is one of the more impressive parts of it. And I'm really tired and I forget everyone's names. It has the lovely, the effervescent Lea Sadu in it, of course. As Vincent Lindon, that a lot of people sort of, who's especially North America, attention sort of came because of Titan for me is by far the best part of Titan, but it's a whole nother conversation. Louis Garel, who I know a lot of people are big fans of. Raphael Quinal, who I actually don't know super well at all. And Manuel Guidelo. The film, I mean, p people who know Quentin's work, the other Quentin, usually surreal, usually strange, a lot of fun, darkly comic. But what we really have with this one is a lovely, droll, slight 82 minute or something like that meta film something that reflects upon art and society and love and all that stuff all within the context of something that sort of takes the piss out of film production takes the piss out of ai and absolutely exploits to the best possible extent to the notion that a dolly shot can actually be the entire cinematic world that you're actually dealing with. Um, I think a lot of people were expecting maybe a little bit more from the film than it actually delivered, but I liked it. I liked, uh, look, we've seen Drek actually open film festivals like this. God, I was here for Grace of Monaco for Christ's sake. So a film like this that actually manages to, you know, be entertaining and still be a little bit smart and a little bit fun and a little bit sort of wild in its ideas, I think is definitely worth celebrating. Is it the most important film of the season? Is the one that we're going to be talking about? No. Which makes it in many, many ways, I think, a perfect opening film. Some of the sort of get the juices running, as it were, and actually get us here celebrating this year's uh, Canon International Film Festival. I think in terms of, if it's given a chance, it's a little bit, l much less weird than a lot of his other movies. Because it's relatively straightforward, I think people might have been disappointed here in this audience, but this one that might actually capture a more general audience, which for me isn't a bad thing. For them to see something a little bit sort of off-piste, a little bit odd like this, and actually engage with something that's decidedly film about loving film, a film about acting, about performance, about the actual camera work itself. I mean, I I'm not gonna ruin the last shot, but it is such a decidedly amazing articulation of just what goes into it and the sort of bifurcation between what is automatic and what is incredibly manual. And yeah, so in terms of like having a fun time about doing the second act, about like revisiting something over and over again within the, uh, uh, the, the the main context of a film where there really isn't a beginning or an end, there's just, we're sort of stuck in this sort of middle form of the second act. I think that is something definitely worth celebrating. So for ThatShelf.com, I'm Jason Gorber. Please subscribe, follow us on social media. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you actually want us to cover and we will see you next video. All the best, take care.